I am a builder. While doing the business for the last almost 20 years, out of which first 10 was a, 10 year was a complete failure, I didn't build a single square foot of a building in the first 10 years. The moment I was complete failure in Mumbai, I shifted to Pune and started my new venture where we tried to make small, small things. Small things which led us the last 10 years journey of making something green, which I'm going to share you with you today. But still would like to share This is a box. Intelligent automatic change over switch. We fit this box in every apartment, every flat we are building. Why? Right now we are sitting here using the electricity. Are we able to identify where does this come from? No. It can come from a dam. It can come from a nuclear energy. It can come from solar. Nobody knows. But if at all, the energy I'm using, and I know if it is coming from solar, everybody will be proud, happy. The box does the same thing. It informs the energy what you are using is a green, that is a solar, or the mains, that is a grid. Okay, its information is one thing, but most important, if you are getting electricity free of cost, then, then it makes more interesting. So if you are on a green and you are getting a free electricity, that is the box does the work. But how it is possible, everybody knows, multi-storied building, nowadays solar panel, megawatt scale solar panel, windmill, everybody knows, producing electricity, or in a kilowatt scale, small scale, bungalow producing electricity, but Multi-storied building, again multi-storied offices, they produce themselves, but multi-storied residential building and every apartment producing electricity of its own. These are the typical installations done by us. So every building, rooftop produce electricity, what it requires. So nine story or a 10 story building having 50 apartment, all apartment will produce their own electricity. And that is either from solar or from the wind. This is most of the part, but still you require something for grid. Because everything cannot be on a solar. So what we have kept is a limit. Every flat has a solar free of cost, but up to certain limit. The moment you cross the limit, it shifts to the Grid. Grid shown by the same box by the red light. So you know now you are on a grid. It is 100% chargeable. Now the choice is yours. Whether you want to be on a grid or on a green. So if you have chosen something to be on a grid for some time, it will be charged. And every 24 hours, we write this in the ground floor lobby of every building how much you have consumed from the grid. How much you have consumed as well as how much others has been consumed. So you know, if you are within the limit, we have kept say three units, a limit of energy consumption from the grid. Now, IT as my customer background, middle or upper middle class, Normally, they consume 8 to 10 units in a day. And this is the chart every 24 hours we update to all our customers. And 
maximum one or two, three units. The moment three units limit is crossed, it is shown in the red. Why? We have here slabs. If you have consumed in a month 100 units, that means three units in a day, you are charged as per slum. So staying in a multi-story building, having middle and upper middle class, but charged at the lowest possible rate, is possible. The moment you cross the three, it is shown in the red. Now, something wrong. So next day, you can improve upon. And at the end of a month, when there is an energy bill coming in your hand, this is what we have last seven years record of the green apartment which we are building versus the normal. So from 200 to 400 rupees is the normal billing coming as long as to 1500 to 2000 rupees bill. Everybody of us agree this is the general electricity bill monthly coming in any two or three BHK apartment in Pune. So we have here November, October, September, August, July, June. Six months covered. But we have not covered May. May must be, everybody knowing, very hot. So naturally, the apartment which we are building must be having again a 2,000 rupees because they will require air conditioning. But unfortunately, May also has similar result. How? The second story will give you a little bit information. This material, everybody knows this is a stone, but a different kind of a stone called lime, chuna. After heavy stomach, we eat bitter leaves, pan. The pan has chuna. The same lime is used and then it is called chuna lagana. So we also do the same thing and everybody knows that is the profession, chuna lagana. But in a positive way, how it started, why this came into picture, lime. Every structure nowadays built is, everybody knows, cement. Is the material which is used for any structure. But that started since 1970 onwards. Pre-1970, we were not using cement. What we were using? Lime. After 1970, the moment we have multi-storied building coming up, industrialization coming up, we shifted from lime to cement. That was the necessity. But if you take out carbon footprint of any multi-storied building, 40% of that is because of a cement. This chart shows a carbon footprint of one of our project, nine-story building, out of which 40% was because of a just single material cement. So we thought, is there any alternative? Everybody knows this structure looks like Taj Mahal? No. Yes, it's a Bibika Makbara, Aurangabad, just nearby here, built as a parallel or a mirror image of the Taj Mahal. Was cement used? No. Taj Mahal? No. Or somebody might be knowing, 7,000 years ago we had Harappa, yes. Cement? No. What was the use? Lime. Perfect. And a stone, perfect. But nobody teaches us today in an engineering college. I am a B.E. Civil from COEP. In my four years of a engineering college, I never heard a word called lime. It's a fact. 
entire my life i was knowing only cement but this fellow a tutor a my teacher same i visited once bibika makbara and this rama mistri taught me lime how to use lime how to finish the structure using lime across the india we traveled with my team then onwards we traveled to gujarat we traveled to rajasthan we traveled tripura we visited lots of structure where lime was used or currently still there are some artisans some architects who are trying to use the lime but they restrict themselves for either one story or two story building for a multi storied building using lime was a challenge so we researched we had famous books written by a 10th uh, 10th century scientist called varaha mihir he had written something then i got a book called natural plaster something more information and more information came from a pwd manual way back in a 1950 or before that when britishers were ruling they observed and they had written information about the practices which were followed by us so we got the information we started experimenting with it and then came up the formula what you are seeing here the finish which is exactly giving like the taj mahal so multi storied building a nine story 12 story giving the finish exactly like taj mahal a drop of water coming from top directly hit can the ground such a smooth finish but this was traditionally you visit across india you will see only off white or you can see any lime structure built anywhere you will see a single color lime off white this was our new innovation colored lime plaster external building finished so that you will never require paint senior most member from my team mr vilas gokte and again one mystery from rajasthan 70 year old he was not having anything to do he came and taught us again how to make this colored lime plaster chuna lagana that was the one he taught us chuna dhona and that process helped us to create a unique feature the building will never require a recoloring it stands it can stand more than hundreds of years without fading without having any problem with ultraviolet rays the lime has benefit the structure it's cooler inside how much in a strong in a harsh summer we are getting 8 to 9 degrees temperature difference we are measuring it throughout the last 5 years we are getting 9 degrees cooler inside so you don't require air conditioning which ultimately means your air condition your electricity bill is going to be again in the range of 150 to 200 rupees so that was the achievement with the stone now lime also does the same function as a tree tree takes carbon dioxide and gives us oxygen one ton of a uh, lime does the same time uh, same carbon dioxide takes as the plant one fully grown tree in his lifetime so we have planted trees and we have planted trees also in this kind of the artificial pond why 
giving us a beautiful look, also good smell. Why the smell is? This is STP, sewage treatment plant. Sewage means smell. Any mechanical STP also has a smell, but fortunately nature has wonders. This is a natural STP without smell. Does this kind of the compartment, it has filler material inside called filtration media. It has a bacteria, it has a plant called Phragmatis ostalis, the plant which grows on a water, this. What does it does? The plant gives oxygen, all other plants gives oxygen to the air. This plant gives oxygen to its roots in the water, the wastewater. Wastewater has a bacteria inside it. Bacteria takes eats waste out of the wastewater and give in a diluted form to the plant as a food. So the symbiotic relationship between the plant and a bacteria does the water treatment. We are getting treated wastewater comparable with any mechanical STP at par or much better. Any criteria you can choose, the performance is better, but no maintenance, no electricity, no chemical, no manpower. Absolutely wonder of nature. We are using that water again for flushing, coming into the toilet, saving 40% of daily requirement of fresh water. You can create the electricity, but not water. Water has to be used judiciously. So these three important stories of our path we just share with you. We have done much more than this in different different fields, standing from starting from one standalone building to now a township level, doing green, eco-friendly, whichever way possible, wherever. That's it. Thank you.